Next up, Chinese bank disables digital yuan wallet after soft launch. So a major bank quietly opened up a wallet service for China's central bank digital currencies to public users, but they shot it down. So I'll make this very simple. I don't want to go into the too, too much of the weeds here. Central Bank or the China Construction Bank or CCB, they had an online uh, app. And if you just looked or did a search in that app for digital yuan, uh, you would be able to actually activate it and use it. And once they, once the bank figured it out, like, hey, uh, this wasn't supposed to be released. I don't know how the heck that happened, but they just shut it all down and they sh they stopped everything. What I thought was interesting though is that this was the actual picture that somebody snapped. And what was cool about it is that the user had activated the service was assigned could be assigned a specific wallet ID, which could be used to make transactions between the wallet and the user's CCB bank accounts. In addition, users could also send and receive digital yuan to each other by putting either their unique wallet ID addresses or an associated mobile phone number, which is pretty cool. Meaning like if you had, uh, somebody had a Wells Fargo account, uh, this is the American version, another person had Chase Bank, you could just send the, you know, the, the digital version and it wouldn't have to go, you know, across a bunch of different jumps. So it's kind of like Venmo for us, I, I suppose, but it's a central bank coin. And what was scary about this is that they just shut it down. So in an instant, you could just, you know, turn off the money supply. And here's the thing about banks, I mean, they can always shut you down at some point because that's that's where it is. But I think the big thing is for these banks to be able to see exactly what you're spending on, exactly what you're doing. And um, everything is, is accessible because it's not in the commercial banks anymore. It is in the central banks, which are pretty much tied to the government. And uh, especially in China. Now in America, America, once again, is falling behind because they do not have or haven't done anything with um, central bank digital coins. So we'll see how that all works out. But uh, I'm not very optimistic about it. I think the uh, entire world will pass us by and uh, we'll miss the boat. Anyhow, that's it. Let's move on.